What's up guys, it's Tyler with Hook Sets Are Free. I hope you're having an awesome day. Today I'm going to show you a little DIY power finesse jig with all Z-Man products. I'm all about versatility and power finesse. Just like being able to use a bait caster and employ a lure in a number of different ways to try and catch fish. So the Ned Rig is a finesse tactic and is a fish catching machine. And obviously a jig has been around forever and tends to catch bigger fish. So what I want to show you today is a combination of a Ned Rig and a jig using all Z-Man products. So this right here is the big TRD in the deal. This right here is the Power Finesse Shrooms jig head in a one-fifth ounce weight. So almost a quarter ounce on that. And this is the Z-Man Easy Skirt Finesse. You can find these a, place, a couple places online. I like to buy these discounted on Discount Tackle. Get these about $2.50 for a pack of three of them. So um, altogether, we're talking about $2.50 including the trailer. So just a little over $2 for the jig itself, but here's how we're going to build it. Okay, you got your skirt in one hand, you got your jig head in the other. Pretty straightforward, we're just going to thread the skirt straight up on there. And what you'll notice is it's loose for now. That's okay. I'm just going to flip this over, get the skirt out of the way, pick up our bait. Line it up to see how far we need to thread it on there, which is maybe about an inch. And we're going to thread our bait on, pop out center, push up over the keeper, pull it to straighten out, bring our skirt back down, and twist it so that we've got lighter side on top, darker side on bottom and here we are and so this bait right here weighs over a quarter ounce can be thrown on a bait caster or on a spinning setup it is a Ned Rig type of bait but the cool thing is it's gonna stand up straight that skirts gonna give you some good secondary action and this heavy one-fifth ounce weight is going to get you down to the bottom and allow you to stay there unless you want to start working it faster and swim it which you can't. This right here is a cheap DIY setup as I said the jig head itself is going to cost you about a dollar fifty dollar seventy the skirt maybe about eighty cents to a dollar and then the bait, about 75 cents. This is a pretty cheap jig, especially in the grand scheme of things. How about this? This is a three-aught hook on a Ned Rig with a four-inch Ned Rig bait. Still a Laztec, stands up, great action. Give it a shot if you haven't already. I am a big fan of the Finesse Rooms Micro Jig from Z-Man. These come two to a pack for five dollars so you're paying two fifty for a jig plus you know, you're gonna put a Ned Rig size bait on here. Um, I use the standard TRD a lot of the time. This comes in one eighth ounce and three sixteenths. I like to throw it in the three sixteenths. Again mostly because it's a jig and ought to be on the bottom most of the time so I like to throw a little bit heavier of a weight if it's more of a jig than say a Ned Rig. Uh, I do also like to throw different trailers like the Hogs and of course the Craws which is a perfect jig trailer on this micro finesse jig. I mean come on. Look at that thing. So I'm a big fan of the micro jig as I said. However, I'm going to show you something real quick. Ordinarily, the weed guard is really pretty flimsy. 
I like it. Never had too many issues with it being a, a wire weed guard. However, I did recently run into one that, I mean, this is rock solid. It, it's very difficult to get down to the point where this is just one of them. I, I broke the other one off. This is one of the guards. This is the other one that came in the pack. And look at this. I'm putting a ton of force on this and it's not bending down. There's something about the wire on this specific jig in this pack that was uh, too much. So what I did was I took the skirt off. Here it is. And I'm going to try and build a DIY version. So, and I'm trying to build it almost identical if I can, which I can't, but I can get a little bit close. Check this out. What I'm going to do is stay on the green pumpkin, stay on the weedless train, but I'm going to bump up to the power finesse rooms. Like we were just using. We're going to thread it on upside down. And poke through there as best as we can. Pop that up. And um, spread out. Skirt a bit. That's what we've got. And then we're just going to take our bait, which in this case is a TRD tubes in a matching color, the PB and J. Gonna come out most of the way toward the back. Push that puppy up onto the keeper. All right, and here is. The finished product for this fixed job. Bang, bang, look at that. That is a power finesse jig, too. Throwing it with a tube on there. Cool thing is, with this big hook, I've got a weed guard. Bing. I like it a lot. Cool. So that was a little homemade setup. And this was a little homemade setup. Both using the Power Finesse Shrooms Jig Head. This one in a quarter ounce. And the Big TRD. And this one, mostly just to replace the Jig Head and the Weed Guard from one of these stock ones that came that just is unusable. Alright guys, that's going to do it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching. If you liked it, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you in the next one. Cheers.